Hello, it's the IT guys here. Welcome back to Microsoft Word. This is our fifth tutorial on Microsoft Word 2013. Today, we're going to be looking at designing your page. First thing we're going to look at is how to set a page color. Go across to the design tab in the ribbon, then come across to page color. You can set a solid color, like so, or you can have fill effects. Here you can have a picture, a pattern, a texture, or a gradient. I'm going to choose a gradient. There are some, some, there are some preset gradients you can choose from, or you can have one of your own colors, like so. I'm going to go with a custom one with two colors, like this, and I'm going to have a diagonal stripe down my page. I'm going to click OK and it will put that diagonal striped gradient colour into my page. Next we're going to have a look at page borders. Click page borders. You can have none. You can then select a box border. You can turn individual borders on and off and the preview shows you what you're doing. You can change the style of the borders to say something like this. You can make it thicker and change its colour. You can also select artwork such as this to be your border. You can have shadow to your page, a 3D looking border or a custom one. I'm going to go with this blue, actually I'm going to go with white. I'm going to go with a white border on my page and click OK. Finally, we're going to be inserting a watermark. To do this, we come up to watermark and click on it. There are a couple of preset options like confidential. However, you can create your own custom watermark. You can have a picture or create your own text. I'm going to have my own text. It's going to say DIT Guys 99. I'm going to change the colour slightly due to my background to make it this very, very pale grey. I'm going to leave it semi transparent and I want it to be diagonally across my page. I'm now going to click Apply so I can see it on my page and click Close. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. But for now, goodbye.